Hey guys, it's Joaquin. Just uh, this is my second battery pack. I made some adjustments to my uh, endpoints on my uh, rudder on the radio, and also to the pyro rate on the uh, gyro. That, <clears throat> that new uh, GY520. Such a beautiful day. So I go ahead and see if I can uh, get another recording here. Say hi to everybody. My rudder was like really sensitive before. I was having a hard time keeping control over it. I swear I only moved the stick about a quarter of an inch and that thing was spinning all over the place. So I got a little more rudder travel now on the stick so a little easier for me to fly. It's not windy, it's nice and warm out so I thought I'd uh, do a little flight recording. <clears throat> Got a camera on board this time. Hopefully, it stays on for the whole trip. Had a chance to get my thumbs warmed up a little bit. Well, this thing is nimble. <clears throat> Haven't had a lot of time to uh, read on the forums. I've been trying to keep up. I see that Rob's moving to Sydney, I guess. Good luck with the move. I saw you packed up all your birds yesterday, looked like. It's like a pretty good way to pack them. Meantime, everything's been busy at work. Been doing hikes on the weekends, getting ready for my uh, the Ton Death March out at White Sands. Uh, last weekend I did uh, 7.8 miles. Wasn't too bad. It's been warm here lately. Well, for us, it's been warm, about 80 some degrees. <laughs> I know, I know Brian's probably cursing me right now. But 80 degrees is like too hot for us, man can't handle that kind of stuff. It's just like devil heat. We're usually uh, 72 almost year round. Well, high of 72 almost year round. Probably 68 is more of a average temperature for us. But it's always windy. At least here on base. Get a chance to throw her around a little bit, having some fun. One of these days I'm going to get froggy and try a loop. I know I can do it. I've done it before with the old belt, but it was ugly. <clears throat> I don't think I had it set up right either. Now that I get this thing dialed in, dialed in a little better, I'm liking it more and more. I flew the belt yesterday, and this one too, just so I could get a back-to-back -back comparison. Man, that poor thing felt all loose and sloppy and sluggish. <clears throat> well, I flew that thing first, and then this one. Oh my God, that was a mistake. I could barely keep control over it, just so responsive. So that's why I uh, mess with my uh, stick uh, endpoints a little bit today to get it more, a little more manageable. It was just unbelievable. I thought about giving it some expo, but I'm not. I have to read up on that. I'm not real sure uh, which direction to go with it. So uh, I just mess with the endpoints and. 
that seems to have given me the uh, desired effect. Between adjusting the puro rate on the gyro and those endpoints, I'm getting to where I've got a pretty comfortable medium, I think. Okay, that was my nose in. That's all you guys get. <laughs> Man, this thing's great when it's not windy. Got just about a two or three mile an hour breeze off, off my left shoulder. It's totally tolerable for this. I'm feeling real spoiled right now. Okay, that was a little close. <laughs> Guess the key is not to freak out, right? Every now and again, I'll see, uh, I'll catch cars driving by off the left over here. You'll see them slow down and uh, watch the helicopter fly around. Well, there's my six minute timer. Let's see if I can do a Brian landing. Probably not. Ah, close. All right. Another successful flight. And uh, we'll talk to you guys online. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.